Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and today I wanted to share something with you that I really hope, hope can be helpful for you and your family, and it is simply how to load, clean, and organize your dishwasher. So let's jump right in. So friends, one of the things that I find, or I hear rather, that uh, causes problems in the home is how to load the dishwasher. You know, the family's not on board with how it should be done, and then that can cause a little bit of strife within the home. And oddly enough, that is one of the main things in a home that the family is not on the same page with. So in my book, Beautifully Organized, my Beautifully Organized Home Planner, I do share with you about you know creating those times every week when you need to sit down with your family. And one of the things that I think is important is to teach life skills to the family as a family. And one of the things that I encourage a family to have a kind of training session on is how to load the dishwasher. Because one, it affects how clean the dishes get, um, the efficiency with it, and just the care of um, your dishes and your also your dishwasher, the system, the actual dishwasher. So let me start with my tips. So the first thing I want to say is it's important to kind of have a schedule with how you run your dishwasher because it really can help things be more efficient in the home. So what I like to do here is I like to unload the dishwasher in the morning and then load the dishwasher throughout the day. One, it helps keep your sink empty because then it's available for the family to put their dirty dishes in and then you all can establish a routine of, you know, rinse your cup and put it directly in the dishwasher instead of just putting your cup in the dishwasher. So keeping a system really helps um, reduce frustration because it's nothing like coming to um, the sink and needing to put something in the dishwasher and then find you have a, a load of dishes that either haven't been ran or a load of dishes that um, are clean and need to be put away. So definitely having a system of a, a load in the um, night and unload in the morning. Another thing is you don't want your dishes to sit in your dishwasher unclean because the, it just creates a smell, it's just not good. And so having that schedule really helps um, the dishwasher to stay you know, cleaner and it reduces the amount of time that you have to actually clean the dishwasher. Another thing that often families don't agree on are is should we rinse the dishes before we put the dishes in the dishwasher or do we just throw the dishes in the dishwasher? And you know, experts, everyone has their own you know, idea about that. So for me, I think it's important to definitely read the instructions for your specific machine, your dishwasher, to make sure that you're following the guide with that. Also, I wanna make another note that your dishwasher instructions, a lot of times when you get a dishwasher, it will also tell you how to properly load that unit so that you can get the maximized clean for your dishes. So very imp important to just kind of check that out. Or if, you don't, if you're not about um, keeping a manual, which I'm not about, you can always go online and watch videos on your specific um, dishwasher just so that you can make sure that you're you know, caring for it properly and loading properly and using it um, properly. So for me and Mike, we like to just rinse off our dishes before we put them in the dishwasher, but not clean them. To me, if I'm going to sit there and wash the, the dish, it's just, why not just wash dishes? And so I do find it important to get chunky food um, off of the dishes. I don't mind if there's just kind of like a sauce or anything like that, but chunky things that I want to get off. Now, some experts say, you know, leave the chunky stuff on because that's what helps the soap kind of clean and all of that, but that's not my thing. My thing is, I like to rinse it, put them in. One, um, I think it helps with the process. And two, I don't want, you know, food just sitting in the dishwasher like that, not just in, not in big chunks and things like that. Another tip that I want to share with you is how to load the dishwasher. One, because I think that a lot of times we think about just kind of where to properly pay, place the things um, in our dishwasher, but it's also important to categorize where you put the things because if you categorize things together, it makes it easy when you're unloading the dishwasher. So if when I'm loading my spoons and my forks and my utensils, I know they all go in this section of the dishwasher, but if I put all my spoons right next to each other, all my knives right next to each other, I'm able to easily lift up that grouping and put it in the drawer easy rather than have a spoon here, spoon here, 
here and then having to kind of grab all the spoons and then, you know, it takes time to grab and sort all the spoons to put them in. So just putting your plates um, together, your, your bowls together and all of that can make it easy when it's time to unload. Another great thing that you can do to help the family is to assign areas within your dishwasher for putting away the dishes. Because sometimes, you know how we talk with or the organization, when you look at the whole picture, it can be overwhelming. So if you have a dishwasher full of dishes and they're clean and it's time to put them away, oftentimes family members will walk by and see that it needs to be unloaded and walk away because it's like, it's a bigger task and they don't have time. They don't feel like doing all of that. But if you assign, say you're a family of four and you say, okay, um, Jane, your job is always to empty all the clean utensils. Well, that's a smaller part for her. When she comes to the dishwasher, the only thing she has to do is put away utensils. Um, John, all he has to do is put away the plates. Uh, Mom, all she has to do is put away um, kind of the glasses. And so have a family member assigned to each section of the dishwasher ongoing. It makes it an easier task for the whole family and it helps get the dishwasher unloaded without one person having to physically unload everything from the dishwasher. Another thing is putting some type of identifier on your um, dishwasher so that the family knows that it's clean or dirty. Because sometimes you can look in there and the dishes, especially if you pre-rinse a little bit, you're trying to say, are these clean or are these dirty? And so um, you can get little magnets to put on your dishwasher. They even have ones that are just don't stand out as much so that you don't have to have this big colorful um, item on your dishwasher. They have them in stainless steel so that kind of blend in. In the description box below under this video, I'll put links um, to some options that you can buy and that really can help with the process of unloading and loading. But again, if you have that system of unload in a day, um, I mean, unload in the morning and load at night, you kind of know what you're dealing with. So when it comes to actually putting things in your dishwasher, another thing that families also fight about is what to put in the dishwasher because, and I've had that with Mike, I've come and he's put something like, um, or tumbler or something in the dishwasher that should not be in the dishwasher. So again, that's why those family meetings are important and to have um, understanding as a family what goes in the dishwasher and what doesn't. So one thing that you never want to put in your dishwasher is wood items. Um, your wood will get destroyed and it doesn't take long for a dishwasher to destroy woods, such as your cutting board, your wooden spoons. You definitely want to hand wash those. Another thing, if you're anything like me and you're a coffee drinker, those glass double wall coffee mugs, you do not want to put those um, in the dishwasher because they have, if you'll turn the mug over, you'll notice there's a little dot that has the, that those double walls have. And oftentimes that will, putting that in the dishwasher, it would fill and it will destroy your double wall uh, mug. So definitely not that. Even with my glass mugs, I don't even put those in the dishwasher because I don't want them to really age faster and I find that you know of course with hard water and things like that which I'll share a tip about that um, you know can tend to happen so it's nothing they're small I usually wash out my coffee cup of the day or whatever it is so then the next thing that you don't want to put in there is your copper mugs any copper anything copper um, you do not or silver you do not want to put in there you can put your stainless steel in there some silver you can you know make that choice if you want to put it in there but my delicate um, items, expensive kind of, um, you know, silverware, I do not put into um, the dishwasher. And if you choose to put silverware and in the dishwasher, don't group it with your stainless steel um, because they putting, combining those together can destroy your silverware. And then the other thing is with those copper mugs, it's fall time. We all love our copper, copper mules. You do not want to put those in the dishwasher. Easy way to just ruin those beautiful, beautiful cups. So keep those out of the dishwasher along with your tumblers. You know, you have um, all of your coffee um, tumblers. You will mess up the seal on them if you put them in the dishwasher. Mike has a bad habit of wanting to throw his tumblers in the dishwasher and I keep having them, don't put them in. It's not gonna last, you know, they're not gonna last. And so those are things that that you definitely do not want to put in your dishwasher. Also, you know we love our gold flatware. It's so popular now, so I don't put any gold in the dishwasher. Even if I have a cup and it has a little gold rim on it, I don't put it in the dishwasher because what you will notice is after time, it will start to fade and it will um, just, it just will not look the same. Even if you have that gold silverware or if you have silverware that maybe is silver and then it has some type of enamel on it, I don't put those in the dishwasher because I don't want them to chip away 
decay and start aging. Um, and so I will hand wash those also. The great thing about those items is that I don't use those every day. I just use them when I'm creating a beautiful tablescape or having company and things like that. We have our everyday silverware that, you know, flatware that goes right into the dishwasher fine. My next tip is to really keep the maintenance up and keep your dishwasher clean. And how you want to do this is you want to just take out the actual trays in your dishwasher. There's simple parts to most all dishwashers that you can take off and clean. And because food and, and debris and things are filtering through this, you want to definitely do that. But one thing you do not want to do is never, 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 never put soap, dish soap or any kind of soap into your dishwasher, you will have a disaster. What you wanna do is you wanna use vinegar. That is a great thing to use and baking soda. That's what you wanna clean out um, your dishwasher with. And you can take the racks out. You should take the racks out, clean the inside of your dishwasher, the filter, um, take the utensils rack out and you can clean that in the sink. Um, but once you wipe it down, once you wipe with the vinegar and the baking soda and you give your um, dishwasher a nice wipe down, you then want to just run it empty on a cycle without the trays and then you know you can wash the trays while it is actually running. And so it's important to keep your dishwasher clean so that it can effectively clean your dishes. The other thing is keeping up with the maintenance. You're using this every single day. So the tines, they can tend to get rusted over time. And if you're putting your dishes on top of that, that's putting that rust into your dishes. And so you can easily replace these. Amazon sells big packs of them. I will put a link in the description box below. And it's a simple process of just kind of taking one off and putting one on. And so that's what you definitely want to keep an eye on and why it's important to clean your dishwasher because then you can identify these things that need to be updated with your unit. And one thing that I definitely recommend, I'm not sponsored, but Let Me Shine, you guys might remember when I first started YouTube years and years and years ago, I talked about Let Me Shine because it's really a great tool to have with your dishwasher um, because it's something that will really deal with that hard water and those stains and keep your dishes looking great. And friends, I forgot to tell you one more thing that you definitely don't want to put in your dishwasher, or at least I don't put in my dishwasher, I try not to, is my, um, wine glasses because they are so delicate they have the stem, stems on them and it's something that you know i really um, am not using all of the time i really try to just wash those by hand because it's more important not to have a broken glass um, because it's a little more delicate than to just put it in the dishwasher the other thing is you want to make sure that the spinner, every time you load your dishwasher, you wanna make sure that that spinner is able to spin around because if it's, it's not, it's not gonna effectively clean your dishes. Now let's talk about how to effectively load your dishwasher. So one thing that you definitely want to do is when you load the plates, you wanna face them inwards. That's gonna really help them get clean. And so face um, inwards from one side, start from one side and load in, and then start from the other side and load in. You definitely want to make sure that the dishes are not kind of toppling over each other where they can't really truly get clean. You want them to have their space to get clean. So sometimes it's best to put a plate than a saucer, plate than saucer. That's kind of how you can effectively do that. Another thing that I see people do that they should not do is when they're loading up their cups, they'll put it right over the time and hang it over there face down. And you don't want to do that. You really want to angle your cup in so that the water can really clean up under and it can clean down um, off the top of it without holding water on the top or the back of your cup. The same thing with your bowls. You want to do them in the same manner that you do your cups so that they really can effectively get clean. The other thing to understand is that the bottom rack of your dishwasher always produces way, way more heat. The water and everything is a lot hotter on the bottom than the top. So you definitely don't wanna put things like your um, plastic wear and um, glasses and things like that on the bottom. You wanna keep those on the top so that they don't get damaged. But always look at your items that you're putting in your dishwasher to make sure that they're dishwasher safe because not all plastic items are even safe for dishwashers. Another thing, when you're putting your knives in the dishwasher, it is so important to face them down. I see so many times when people load their dishwashers, they just kind of drop them down in there. It's not safe for kids. They can easily cut themselves. Um, and it's just, you want to make sure that you're effectively cleaning them and you're keeping yourself safe at the same time.
If you have those non-wood cutting boards that you can put in the dishwasher, definitely start those on the outer edge. Those are really a great location for them. They won't be in the way and they are efficient. you can efficiently save space when loading everything else into your dishwasher. Another thing that you do not want to put into your dishwasher are your cast iron pans. Even with your everyday pots and pans, check to make sure that they are dishwasher friendly. This is something even when you're shopping to think about because if you're one that you want the majority of your items to go in the dishwasher, definitely check to make sure that they are dishwasher safe before you buy them. So friends, I hope that you have enjoyed the tips that I have shared with you on how to organize, clean, and load your dishwasher. I will definitely link all of the products that I talked about today. And friends, definitely in the comments, let me know if you have any questions or if you have any comments or tips yourself. Love, love, love it when you guys share in the comments. So friends, I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.